Hello everyone, this is Minty Jo and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am an American that lives in Italy. And on this channel, we talk about so many things. We talk about law care, we talk about spiritual and emotional care, and we talk about self-care and anything that's going to make us be the best version of ourselves. If you like the content, please go ahead and subscribe and become a part of the family and become a part of my lock journey. Well, the reason why I'm here today is because last week, March 24th, was my lock anniversary. And I promised that I would come back and tell you guys exactly why I decided to lock, a little bit about my journey. And I just want to come on here and just share with you uh, my experience. So first, um, I'll just go into the reason why I decided that I wanted to lock my hair. Well, it was during the midst of the pandemic around, it was uh, March, yeah, uh, February of 2021. So we were still in the thick of things. But before that, I was um, twisting my hair and then I would take it out every three to four weeks. And um, as I mentioned before in some of my other videos, I have family members that are locked and they were encouraging me to do it. But I will uh, tell you what I told them. I'm not going to do anything until I'm ready. One of the things was is that I didn't really know that much about locks. I didn't know how to maintain them. And so I decided to do my research before I made the decision to do that. But after a while, I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and try and do this. I'm going to see if I can add some photos so you can see um, the beginning stages. One of the things I will say is that I really wanted to make sure I was making the right decision. And so I decided to ask, you know, to pray. I believe in prayer. And yes, I believe that God cares about the very hairs on our head. The reason why I say that is because of a scripture that I'm going to read to you right now coming from Luke 12, verse 7, and it says, Indeed, the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. And as you know, as a woman, and if, you, if some of you are women, because there are men that lock their hair too, you know, our hair is something that's very, very important, especially in uh, the black community. It's very important. And so making a decision to lock your hair, it's not a it's not a small decision. And I didn't want to do it because of the style and, and because of the trend, because microlocks are really, you know, becoming a, a thing during that time. It was something that I decided to do. And I realized that there was going to be a commitment. I didn't realize how much of a commitment because it is, it is a commitment. A lot of times people do locks because they think, oh, well, I don't have to do as much maintenance on my hair, but that's actually not true. You really do have to keep up with it. You really have to make a decision to do it and, and stick with it. So it's been a journey and it's really something that you don't know what to expect because everybody's hair is different. And I used to hear that and see that but I'm realizing it. It really is true. So I went ahead and started my journey with two strand twist. That's how I started. And I just did small twists all over my head, you know, and I wanted to do the two strand twist because I had heard that interlocking um, was fine, but I didn't know anything about it. And not only that, I already have fine hair and I wanted to make sure that my hair had enough volume in it. <laughs> so I started with the two strand twist. And in the beginning stages, it was not easy, guys, because my hair was doing all kinds of different things. It was just changing. It was looking a little scruffy at times. And I remember my cousin, I, my famous cousin I keep talking about, <laughs> um, she told me, just go with the flow, go with what's going on with your hair. Make sure you keep it moisturized. Make sure you use your different, you know, use oils on your hair. And, and that's another thing. It's like trying to figure out what it is that you need to use. And especially during that time, because it wasn't like we could just go out to the store and get this and get that. I don't know what your situation was in the States, but here in Italy, they were very strict in the very beginning. And even still, I wasn't able to always order things and get things. So I... um had to start with what I what I knew. And I knew, of course, about oils, coconut oil, 
even though I I'm, I don't really use a lot of coconut oil because for some reason my hair has a love-hate relationship with it. So I use more olive oil. I use um, avocado oil and other oils that I could find here. Um, and so I, you know, my first question, you know, first thing is I started with the two-strand twist. And I just asked God for patience because, and even now, you know, I, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to do my best. And so, you know, I would encourage you to, like, if you feel like you don't know what you're doing um, and you're not sure, of course, you can go to a loctician, you can go to someone else. But I personally wanted to do this on my own because of where I live. As you know, I live in Italy and we do have some some African brothers and sisters that live here as well, but sometimes people are not available. And again, the pandemic, there was no one there to really do my hair for me. So I had to figure this out on my own. Um, one of the things about locking my hair is that people tend to look at you in a different way. They look at you like, what is she doing? Especially here in Italy. I think people are more interested and they're more fascinating with you, fascinated with our hair. And with black hair, guys, people want to know. You know, it's not like it used to be back in the day. Now everybody is like, you know, everything is on video and online and everybody's looking at everything. So they want to know. But people would ask me, you know, different questions. And um, sometimes I had an answer for them and sometimes I did not. But that is part of it. You have to remember that this is your decision. And sometimes everybody isn't going to agree with your decision. They don't understand why you're doing it. There's some people that um, don't necessarily like locks and that's okay, but it's your decision. And once you've made that decision, you know, you move forward in your truth. If you want to do it and that's what you feel you should do, then I would encourage you to do it. But be ready for people to ask you all kinds of questions. They can be positive. They can be negative. Sometimes um, people look at you a certain way. But, you know, if you feel like this is for you, then go for it. Um, so I felt, um, I, I felt positive with my lot journey because I was expecting that anyway. Um, also, I have here, um, how did, how do I feel in general? I feel, um, I had, I, I went through different stages. There were times that I was like, hmm, did I do the right thing? Because sometimes it got frustrating. I didn't really know what to use on my hair. And there's, thank God there are a lot of videos out there about the different things that you can do, the th things you can use, but you also have to make sure that those things are adaptable for you. There are some people that can use certain, you know, uh, coconut oil, like I said, or they can use other oils, but those things don't work for you. So you have to find out what that is um, and, and stick with it. One of the things I have learned, keeping it simple. A lot of times you want to go out there and buy this product, that product, because there's so many different products out there. I just found for me, and I've heard this from other people. It's like, keep it as simple and as basic as possible. My routine basically has come down to using oils that agree with my hair, like coconut oil. I keep saying coconut oil, like castor oil. Castor oil and my hair, they love, I, my hair loves it. Castor oil and also avocado oil. And also, you know, sometimes I put some peppermint oil in, in my concoction. And other oils too, like your almond oil, those penetrating and also those penetrating oils and also the psyllium oils and learning how to use those as well. If you're interested in learning about that, I have a video um, about the different oils that I've used and why you should use them. But you have to find out what works for you, even with the moisture in your hair. Too much moisture isn't good for the hair but not enough moisture isn't good. So you have to find your rhythm. That's the question. You have to find your rhythm. Um, what is the future hold for me with my locks? Um, right now, this is what I want to do. Um, I do want my locks to grow to, I would say, um, I, I'm going to say this, but breast length. And for me, that would be long enough. I have cousins that have it all the way down near their tailbone. 
I don't think I want it to be that long, but I'm just taking it one day at a time. But there is one thing I want to say before I get off because this, I don't want this video to be too long is that one of the great things about locks is that it really helped me to evaluate my body and my health because your hair is a reflection of how you treat your body. If you are not eating correctly, if you're not getting enough sleep, if you're not getting enough water, if you're not eating the right things, the right minerals, okay, putting everything on your hair, yeah, okay, that will help, but it's internally that we need to take care of our bodies. And it made me just, you know, relook at the things that I'm eating. So that's another great thing about this journey is that it does help you to reflect on your health and your body and your temple because this is our temple. All right, guys, I'm going to stop there because I really don't want this video to be too long, but I wanted to just come back on and just give you some ideas and tips so I'll let you know how I feel about it. And if you are considering locking your hair, the first thing I would tell you to do is to pray about it. The second thing, make a decision. And the third thing, go for it. This is Minty Jo. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to talk to you and see you soon. Remember, please go ahead and subscribe if you like the content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.